hi guys and welcome back to my youtube channel my name is sikele lona femela for those who are coming for the first time and for those who've been here and been subscribed thank you for staying and thank you for showing so much love i also want to thank you for all the views in the previous videos what i view it as is if i had 82 people in the same room listening to what i have to say so thank you so much so today's topic is very controversial but i really wanted to share because it's been something that i felt so passionately about and I finally felt the confidence to speak about it on a big platform because I see that it is something that is happening and people are actually really trying to do this a little bit more. Sorry again for the background noise, but you understand my lifestyle. I have two kids and sometimes it's a little bit complicated to get them to keep quiet. Anyway, so today we're going to speak about quitting social media. So I think it was 20... 21 when i actually started the journey and i quit social media for three months and the reason being is that social media took a lot of my time i didn't have time for tasks that were simple that i needed to get done i didn't have time for my child i had one child at that time and i also just didn't have time to do my passion project so i decided for three months i think it was also following uh reading 5 a.m club that i actually started um the journey and um since then yes since then i actually gotten back to social media but now i'm starting to see the importance of doing that so it was taking away my time it was also taking away my authenticity is that a word authentic but being authentic that's what i'm trying to say so it was taking away a lot of that and also sometimes i wouldn't be able to hear the voice of god because you can imagine you are on social media and for example i have passion projects that i know that the the lord has spoken to me about but sometimes when i get on social media and i see other people running with their own visions i kind of get distracted and sometimes that is not even a bad thing because you are you are being inspired by someone else but it can make you think that this is what the lord is saying to you or rather that he's saying do it at this time but he's not saying do it at this time and also uh, social media um i know people don't want to admit to this but a lot of comparison can happen when you look at the people that are your age your color who've achieved certain things that you've achieved and you think that if they are moving like this then i must be due for my own move but yet your life is not structured like that and you may also find that you become passionate about or not passionate but you become interested in topics that you yourself you know like from the inner core that you are not really into those things for example we spoke even with a friend today about cars like being interested in a certain car that if you drive a certain car this is the status that it brings you and then you seek to acquire those things but it's because you see that on social media people with these certain cars get the validation also on validation what i found out is that um receiving likes and comments and all of that may make you feel or it may seem like you are actually you have a community and i actually read a book that said that um that is actually um harmful to the mind because the mind thinks that you have people that can be there for you in hard times only to find out that oh those social media people are not real help for example you might be going through something then you vent on social media and then you have a lot of people saying oh i've gone through that or they make you feel like they are there for you personally and then you go through harder hardships and then whenever you want to reach out those people are not there to comfort you or to help you take your child to hospital and all of that and to be honest you guys it's very helpful to 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 feel relatable and that's why in my podcast i also say that the to the topics that we discuss are topics that ma make you feel like you're never alone but in the same time, the dangers of creating communities in social media can steal away the, jo the joy of having real relationships with real human beings. Because people now substitute those real relationships with social media relationships. But 
um, those are some of the reasons that I also had um, to leave social media. And I'll just keep looking down because I just have my notes as well. Um, so I just want to touch on everything that I've written down. Um, but also, I saw that I no longer did the things that I was passionate about. I no longer did the things that I liked. You understand? Know because sometimes even in influencing, you find that brands want you to do things a certain way and then they give you the brief and all of that. And suddenly your passion, let's say your passion for cooking turns into a job and now you don't find joy in it and you don't do it anymore in the times that you would like to do it. You do it because you have to do it and sometimes you have to get creative in different ways. I also loved taking walks and walking barefoot. And then I'd find myself obviously not getting the time because straight after work, if I had a long day, then I'd sit down and, and be on my phone. And one of the things that I did once I quit social media, I started a garden and I was able to really eat from that garden and get some produce for my family, which saved us a lot of money. Now that is something that I can put value to because it directly impacted our lives. Like it was a direct sale or it was a di direct income coming in for for us as a family so i started doing that and i took up running again i was at my peak um and we did discuss this that's when i also fell pregnant um then obviously then everything felt a bit too much and then i used um social media again as means to offload or means to get back to society or make myself feel validated again because one thing is that that social media is good at and i do give it to that so because it's not all that bad that it can uh, provide you with people that can affirm you um it can provide you with what do you um instant yes instant gratification and so you can easily get that gratification from scrolling and seeing people who are going through the same thing uh, but at the same time it can be a danger because you it doesn't allow your mind to process whatever that it's going through enough um and so yeah so i decided this year again 2023 now um that i am actually gonna quit social media and i know it can be hard for those that actually own small businesses that need to depend on social media but we need to also find like i believe in god guys and i believe that he is omnipresent and he can use any system if he is that powerful then it means that it's not only on social media that my business can be successful especially if i am leaving social media for becoming closer to him and for doing things that are going to help me so he's going to give me another medium of how can I actually advance my business um, if I'm going to be off social media. So maybe you are wanting to get off social media, but you don't have the capacity right now. Maybe uh, most of your sales do come from social media, maybe from the DMs and all of that. So just navigate your own way that, okay, I want to quit social media. How do I get myself there? Maybe start by putting rules that, okay, I only view social media on a certain time and then I process those um, orders for that day and then the next day I view it at a certain time and then I leave my phone. And also don't limit yourself or don't limit your mind because like, there's abundance guys, there's abundance of people, there's abundance of ways of doing things. It does not have to be on social media for it to actually exist which is one part that challenged me like i always felt like if it's not on social media then no one has the proof that it happened but if it happened to you and you know that it happened then that is enough for it to actually um yeah to it to actually have happened and then also one thing that also social media quitting social media can do it can clean up your life so it can clean up your life from things that you wouldn't do for example um maybe because you saw someone going somewhere on social media now you are interested in going there but you know that actually you don't even like going there it also can clean your life out of friends that are not really your friends because guys you can imagine it's so stressful 
to be having new conversations every day putting your brain under strain because i also read a book that said that when you see a stranger or when you see a new person every day your brain has to process if this person is safe or if they are not safe and then certain things need to happen for the brain to classify them as safe or not safe meaning that um when you are actually um on social media and you're meeting new people and newer people you're actually putting your brain under stress and there's already enough stress in your day um imagine right now i'm a mom of two my brain is already under stress then i have to deal with you know speaking to people on maybe their problems now i have other people problems and then also what social media can do it can show you your real friends because you can then pick from those people and choose the people that you want to talk to offline like off social media you can maybe ask them for their numbers and say okay i'm interested in speaking to you and um i would love to talk to you a little bit more can i have your number and then you can continue the friendship and also those friendships that can be sustained outside of social medias our uh, social media those are the friendships that you should have and you should strive to also spend time sometimes you feel like you're spending time with your friends because you're chatting with them on the phone but do not spending time if you're not being with them you are not seeing what they're going through you're not helping them you are just updating yourself it's like you are reading a news feed and that's all that you're doing and maybe talk about the benefits because i've tried to also put the benefits of social media but let's talk about them before we end this video just a little bit more you get more time with family and with projects that you really want to get to equating social media can also help your brain uh, not feel stressed over or overwhelmed because you're not seeing new things every day and even when you're off social media you can think clearly literally you get clarity you get your own mind you get your own self to speak to yourself like you have time to think and say okay do i really want that and you have time to contemplate because now what what brands and all these companies are doing they're using social media to actually sell us things that we think we need but we actually don't need but they actually track um how we move in social media the things that we like on social media the things that we save on social media to actually sell us products that we don't need and we end up being consumers and never replenishing or giving back um so that even the world can benefit from that so being off social media can also help you get clarity on the things that you really want on the things that you really believe in and also it can help you hear the voice of god so those are the things that i uh, would recommend or i would say that quitting social media has helped me with and i am gonna do it again in 2023 and i hope to do another video and let you know how it's going and i will do updates and i'll also show you the things that i'm doing in between um my free time because it also frees your time yes uh quitting social media frees your time and you end up having more time to do certain things and so i'm gonna have free time and i'm gonna be taking you guys on the journey with me please like subscribe if you want to see what i'll be doing and maybe we can take it a step at a time and i can show you certain things that we can do the first one that i want to do is gardening and now i will make a plan that I will be off and I'll leave my phone on the side and make time to get my garden ready. And yeah, I hope you also have some views. Maybe you don't agree with what I said and that's okay. And you can comment down below and we can have a conversation if you have a different view or you are having your difficulties quitting social media and you want to share that. Also comment down below so that we can chat about how we can make it possible or what are the benefits of having social media or social medias yes because there's a lot of them <laughs> um but and how are you managing it and maybe i can use it also for my business if you have a small business someone is calling me that means my time is up thank you so much for listening and again please share please comment and let's engage love you loads